Well, there could be a strike at Canada Post as early as Sunday. Simone Gavros joins us uh, from a Canada Post location on uh, Hamilton Mountain on the details on this one. Good morning, Simone. Hi, Tim. Well, some people I've been talking to this morning say that they're not that overly concerned about any strike action happening because many have turned to digital options for their mail. But they do say that this will likely be a cause of concern for others, including businesses. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business says that they're watching this situation very closely given how much they rely on mail delivery service. Every time that there is a postal strike or postal disruption, uh, one of the first things that happens is a lot of money gets frozen in the mail, and that, of course, for small firms is something they just can't afford. Uh, beyond that, Canada Post does have increasing volume in one part of its business, and that's uh, shipping. Uh, Canada Post is is a big supplier of, of goods purchased online through e-commerce. Uh, and so for businesses, especially as they pro approach the holiday season, this brings significant concern. Yes, there are, all, are private sector delivery options, but they are often quite expensive. And secondly, they don't have the huge geographic footprint that Canada Post has, especially in rural and remote communities across Canada. The 21 day cooling off period between the Canadian Union of Postal Workers and Canada Post ends tomorrow, which means the union will be in a legal strike position as of Sunday. And they've already indicated this week that its members are overwhelmingly in favor of strike action if it comes down to it. Now, earlier this week, Canada Post presented its latest contract offer to the union. It includes annual wage increases amounting to 11.5% over four years. It also protects the defined benefit pension for current employees, as well as their job security and health benefits. The union's national president responded in a media release saying that the global offer falls short of what they're looking for. The last time the Canada Post workers went on strike was back in October 2018, which led to delays of packages and mail. And at that time, the federal government stepped in to end the month-long rotating strikes across the country. Now, both Canada Post and the local postal union here in Hamilton were unavailable for any interviews this morning, but Canada Post did update me just recently to let me know that those talks are still ongoing and there has been no notice of any strike action just yet. We'll have those updates for you later tonight at 6 and 11 p.m.